What is up, you guys? I'm Farah, and today we're reacting to The Angel Next Door Spoils Me Rotten, episode two. Last episode, we pretty much just got the intro to their story, and I'm just excited to see how their relationship progresses if it moves past from this is what it is. It's giving love. It's giving in love. But anyways, if you guys would like to see my uncut reactions, make sure to go check them down below in the description. Help support me and the channel. And without further ado, let's get into it. Maybe she's vibing. Did she actually lose her way? No, it's right in front of their apartments. What happened? Did she get bullied by school kids? <gasps> Dogs? Cats? Oh, oh, sweet angel. He's such a good kid, bro. Look at him taking care of her. Oh, take her okay. We can't do this at her house. We have to do this in public, guys? Like, just give her a piggyback. <laughs> okay, Sherlock Holmes. What the fuck? What is he suddenly trained in being a fucking doctor? Like, alright, King. Go surgical, baddie. Aww, she appreciates how respectful he is. Rescuer, eh? Yeah, why? How come? <laughs> I like how humble he is. He's like always like telling her like she's like you're good at something and he's like yeah but I also can't cook. It's like he's always like reminding her that I'm not perfect. You know like you also don't have to be perfect. It's, it's almost like he's normalizing not being perfect to her. Maybe I'm overthinking that though. Oh, he's giving her her, her pant his pants. Cute. Oh, he's gonna carry her. We do not need a close up of her boobs on his back, please. Hmm. <laughs> She's the one checking him out. She's gonna wash his clothes and shit, come with like a three course meal situation. <laughs> nice hot shorts, King. He looks exactly like brown haired guy right here. He looks the same. Oh, so he's saying she should be with him? Oh, she's looking at him? Aww. You think his friend is noticing? Oh, that's good. Stop calling her that. She doesn't like it, dude. Not him outing her like that, please. Yes. Beautiful girl, eh? You just called her beautiful. She doesn't think of him. 
Yeah, no, she's not. I think she's interested in you. Okay, confident queen. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Love the honesty and the confidence icon. Aww. What's Kuroke? She likes his smile, I can tell. It almost feels like almost kind of like we're getting his expressions from her point of view. And so they active, it makes it seem like they're making it actively beautiful because she thinks that his expressions are beautiful. That's what it feels like to me, at least. Can I come over, Uwu? Then how did you mean it? <gasps> Let's go, economic shopper. It's pretty much like they're living together. Safety. <laughs> yes, icon. <laughs> You never, honestly. I think she trusts them too. Why? Because of how respectful he's being? No. Habibi, just because you're somebody's type doesn't mean they'll be pestering you. You could be somebody's type and they're respectful. I don't like how her experience with men is so fucking trash. He's just a respectful guy. It almost seems like she's kind of sad that he doesn't find her... ...charming. Let's go, Queen. She kind of looks like Morin. Sometimes. Hmm. This feels like they're married. <laughs> Literally. Okay, slay me. Slay me on his queen. Ooh, seaweed. Ooh, omelette. A rolled omelette, too. Those I wanted a pan like that for so long so I can make a rolled omelette. Yeah, that's what I'm saying! That is your wife, bro. Unless you're married at this point. You're engaged. Holy shit. Fish cakes and fish. They're so romantically coded already, bro. Aww. Does she want to be a chef? Is she, why is she not eating? It's like she's waiting for him. I hate cooked fish. I hate cooked fish. I hate cooked fish. <laughs> Aww. It's giving me vibes of she's cooked for her family before and they were never appreciative or they didn't think it was good. Like, for her to be in so in awe that he's so, like, appreciative of it and he makes so much, like, appreciation, like, noises of, like, umai, umai, oishi. Like, she seems to, like, not be used to that at all. Oh, 
It's like he's teaching her, like, wholesomeness all over again. Aww. He was charmed. Yum. Minus the fish. Yum. Mm -hmm. Another way. Oh, so that's what it's like again. Yes, go Canute. Let's go Canute. No, don't take a good thing away from him. Aww, she feels needed. And wanted more so. Oh. Cutie. They're wholesome as fuck. Dun, dun. Congrats on being done with exams, kids. I miss exams. They're gonna start studying together, huh? I knew it. I was thinking about it. I should have said it out loud. God damn it. <clears throat> He's smart. Oh, is she his girlfriend? They look like siblings. This is cringe. Cringe. I'd be so uncomfortable. What is she, a dog? He is. My imaginary girlfriend. Is he thinking about Mrs. Angel? Is she studying? Wait, is she like a TA? Girl。ごぼ。よくやるよ。Maybe she'll help you with that. I was gonna say it almost felt like she was upset by the fact that she works hard because she's not because it can also be a double meaning of I'm not smart enough naturally. I remember growing up like working hard ish, but I didn't have to work as hard as some people, and I remember it being like a point of like it was like a situation and they were upset with me because of that. But as I grew older and the material got harder, I had to work really, really, really hard. And I think that disconnect is also hard to come by where you grow up feeling like smart. You don't have to put in a lot of work. And then suddenly the work is a lot harder and then you're working your ass off. And so it's just I feel like maybe she feels bad that she has to work hard now because she's used to either not having to work hard or because her family just expects her to be naturally smart yeah it seems to be a point of shame for her or sadness maybe Four days? Oh, it's December then, huh? I feel like she would love to go to the grocery store and do bargains together and you just pick up the bill. Functional gift. For her knives. 
もっと目の細かいのが欲しいんですよねおい女子高生私に一般的な女子高生を求めないでください She's different. She had to be an adult much earlier in her life. They're kitchen knives, bro. <laughs> I love how nonchalant and confident she is. I love her. Very. Yeah, but she's not a normal girl. She prefers functional gifts, I feel like. <laughs> I plead the fifth, bitch. Tell her she wants a knife sharpener. Like, what? She told you what she wanted. I don't think he's aware of the fact that, like, maybe he's, like, dumb. <laughs> but, like, it seems like he's not aware of the fact that she seems to prefer functionality. But I get the the want and desire to buy something that somebody would want versus need for somebody because I'm the same way. It just kind of makes me bummed that I'm buying them something that they quote unquote need versus want. But at the same time, it feels like she needs it just for life, you know, like just make her life easier. Like it's a it's both a gift, like an act of but also an act of service. This is a lot of vague shit right now. You've never even been in her house, though. You don't know what she has. Buy it for him? Not her giving him a hard time. She's cute. <gasps> She's asking for bribes, this little bitch. <laughs> he hates that he has to do this. I don't know, he must care about her so much for this. He's blushing. Your ID, dumbass. No, he likes you. Or cares about you, at least, for now. It seems that she doesn't want to take something as meaningful as a birthday gift because maybe, I don't know, she probably hates her birthday or something. She's not even spending it with her family at the end of the day, right? That gigantic bag for this tiny thing? <laughs> yes, good. Okay, he's not dumb. Oh my god, the Is it the knife sharpener? Aww. Really? You got her a teddy? Oh, she's hugging it. Oh, he's charmed once again. Birthday girl. Don't let your thoughts get ahead of you, bro. If it's so, if he doesn't look, he doesn't fall, right? 
Stop having your preconceived notions, dude. Really? So they haven't even tried to figure it out? Baby. Baby. Because she trusts you. <laughs> he almost went to pat her head, but he got brought to reality. She's not his girlfriend. He really is the affectionate type, huh? Teddies are the best thing you could ever get me. Oh, is he gonna try cooking next time? Shut the fuck up. Guys, they're so cute. They're so cute. What the fuck? They're, it's like almost like he, he's trying to like prevent himself from falling by like not looking. And like every time he's caught off guard. And like, Haram, I really wanna learn about her backstory and why she seems to be so traumatized from her family, her birthdays, just her life in general, because I don't know why he's not questioning at all that she's not seeing his family. Sorry, her family for her birthday. Maybe he assumes that that they live like far, perhaps. But like, why would they send her far away? Like, but then again, if she's well off, and I don't know, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just feel off about this. I feel very off about this, and I hope her story isn't as painful as I'm imagining it. And I hope she's okay. And I hope he can be her safe space. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of me. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.